Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic as a part of advanced ABAP topics playlist. And our new topic is search help exit. Search help topic is available in ABAP dictionary playlist, but I will not keep this topic into a BAP dictionary playlist because this topic is little bit tricky also. It requires the knowledge of a BAP programming debugging function module. And a BAP dictionary playlist is at the starting level itself. And there are so many participants, those who started learning a BAP, so they will not be able to understand if I will keep this topic in the ABAP dictionary playlist. So at that point of time, you can only learn search help. Once you have the knowledge of ABAP programming function module debugging, you can come to this playlist and learn the topic search help exit. Now, what is search help exit? If firstly, I will go to the search help, which we created in the ABAP dictionary playlist. This is the elementary search help. And if you see, we have a option here for search help exit. Now, if someone asks, what is search help exit? Search help exit is a function module. So search help exit is a function module with a predefined interface. Now, what is the meaning of predefined interface? Predefined interface means interface is given by the SAP itself we will not go for our own interface. Now the question comes, what is interface? Interface means input and output parameters. It means input and output parameters of the function module is given by the SAP itself. We will not go for our own parameters. It has a predefined interface. So search help exit is a function module with predefined interface. Predefined interface means import, export, changing tables, whatever is there is given by the SAP itself. We will not go for our own parameters. Now, what is the use of this search help exit? If I will create a function module and pass the function module here, what is the benefit of the same? The simple, simple answer. Whenever I want to write a logic for the search help, I will always, always write the logic where in the search help exit. So what is the use of search help exit? Simple answer. If someone asks why, why you are going for search help exit? Because we want to write the logic based upon the requirement and we can write the logic for the search help in search help exit. That's why we are creating a search help exit because search help exit is a function module. In the function module, you can write the logic. Now, now SAP already provided a example of search help exit. What is the example? F4 if underscore SHLP underscore exit underscore example. It is very, very easy to remember also. Search help exit example. SAP provided a example search help exit. We will simply, simply make a copy of this and we will go for our own changes. 
we will make a copy of this search help exit and we will create our own search help exit. Search help exit means we will create a function module. Now, if I will go to SC37 transaction code and show you this search help exit, I will go to SC37 transaction code. I will display this function module. This is SAP function module. We have the various tabs in the function module. And if you see, we do not have any import and export parameter, but we have two changing parameters. We have two tables parameter and we have a source code. We have a predefined interface, predefined interface. Have you seen in that changing also we have two parameters in tables also we have two parameters. Once we will make a copy of this function module. So two changings will come into our function module. Two tables parameter will come into our own function module. That's why we are saying we will not go for our own parameter. We will not declare anything in import, export. We will not go for our own parameter in changing and tables. We will simply, simply use the parameters which are given by the SAP Excel. Now, what we will do, I will go to SC37 transaction code and we will create our own function module. Now you all know very, very well, whenever we want to create a function module, the first thing we need to create a function group. What is function group? A function group is a container for the function module. So firstly, I will go to SC80 transaction code and we will create a function group first. I will go to SC80 transaction code. From the drop down, I will choose function group. Now I will give some name to the function group. Suppose I am saying ZFG underscore suppose order. I will go for end. It's already existing. So I will give some different name. Suppose I will give order DET. Okay. I will create this function group. I will give the short description to the function group. Suppose I will give function group for search help exit. I will go for save. I will save it as a local object. Never, never forget to activate the function group. If you will not activate, your function module will automatically give the error. So we activated the function group. Now we will create a function module. So we have SC37 transaction code. So I will go to SC37 transaction code. Now this is SAP function module, which is the best example of search help exit. We will make a copy of this. So I will just make a copy. I will click on to copy. You all know the first word should be first letter should be Z or Y. Now suppose here I will give search help exit for order detail. Now you need to give the name of the function group which we created just now. I will just copy this function group and I will put it here. I will go for copy. Okay. And now 
I will go to change mode of my function module and I will activate the function module. Have you seen in our function module interface came automatically. This is a predefined interface which we need to use to changing parameter to tables parameter. And this is the source code with proper documentation given by the SAPS. And in source code tab, we will write the logic based upon our requirement. Now, what we will do, I will simply, simply use this function module or search help exit in the search help. This is our search help exit and I will pass. Now I will activate my search help. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with the topic search help exit. This topic is tricky, require the knowledge of function module, function group, a app programming, debugging. That's why I have not kept this topic in a BAP dictionary playlist. So you can learn search help. After that, once you got the knowledge of this topic, you can learn search help exit from this particular playlist. What is search help exit? It is a function module which has a predefined interface. Predefined interface means the parameters are given by SAP. We will not go for our own parameters. Now, but why, why we are going for search help exit? Because based upon the requirement, sometimes we need to write the logic for the search help. So where you will write the logic for the search help in the search help exit means we will write the logic in the function module. SAP already, already provided the best example of search help exit. You can make a copy and write the logic based upon your own requirement. Now we need to create our own function module or search help exit. So we created the function group with the help of SCAT transaction code. We activated the function group. After that, we went to SC37 transaction code. We made a copy of the function module. We passed the name of the function group and we activated the function module. After that, we pass that function module into this search help exit. And this function module has all the predefined parameters given by the SAP. In the next video, we will take a requirement and we will write the logic into this source code tab of the function module. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.